Hi everyone. I know you want to learn how to speak better English. The way I know this is my students, followers, and subscribers are always telling me how important this is. Also, it's one of the top questions I get asked. So today I want to share with you how to make learning English easier and more fun. Welcome to English Coach 3TS. I'm Tanya. Let's get started. So be sure that you watch to the end of this video. I think one of the last things I'm going to share with you might surprise you, but I can tell you that it works. So let's start with number one. A while back, we made a video with four games that you can play in English, and you can do these by yourself or with other people. I'll put a link here. Be sure and check that video out. When we make learning fun or when we're doing something that's fun, it's easier for us to learn. So automatically, if it's more fun, it's also easier. So let's talk about some other ways to make it more fun. Some other ideas I have are finding movies that you enjoy, reading books that you enjoy, and one of the most popular ways is to listen to music that you like. A movie that our family loves in English is called The Proposal. It's very funny. It's a great story. It might be a little difficult to understand all of the movie, but you don't need to understand it. The number one thing is to have fun. Watch the movie, put the subtitles on in English, and see if you can just get the basic ideas. Seeing the pictures is really going to help, so I know that you will enjoy this movie. Another way to make learning more fun is to do it with people who are fun. If you don't personally know someone that is learning English, the internet is a great place to find people who are learning English. Check out our Instagram because we often talk about ways to meet other people and we have some great classes that we're offering and you can find all of that information there or on our website. The links are below. If you like videos like this with tips and tricks on learning English, be sure to give us a thumbs up and definitely subscribe so you don't miss anything else here at English Coach 3TS. Let's talk about my second recommendation. The second thing I would say is to mix it up. What do I mean by mix it up? When I say mix it up, I mean do several different things. It's easy to get bored when we're learning a language or anything for that matter. So be sure you have ideas of different things you can do. A few things I do when I'm learning my second language are writing in a journal, reading something that I have read before or that is easy enough that it won't be too difficult, or reading something that is maybe a little more difficult but I can listen to it and read it at the same time. This is a book that I've read before more than once and I found it online where I can listen to it for free. This is going to help me learn more vocabulary, improve my listening skills. Listening and reading also helps us to learn grammar. In my opinion, it's one of the best ways and definitely one of the more fun ways to learn grammar. Another way that I like to mix it up when I'm learning my second language is to listen to something I enjoy listening to while I'm doing something I need to get done. So for instance, I have a podcast I love listening to and I put my AirPods on and listen while I'm doing the dishes. One of the reasons this really helps is I get my dishes done and that makes my life a lot less stressful. You can listen to these videos or all of the videos we have over on Instagram without watching the picture. You can put your headphones on and listen and get something else done. Listening to videos that you've already seen is another great idea because you've seen them, you've heard them, and now you're listening to them again. You're more likely to remember things and learn more vocabulary that way. I'm glad you stuck with me till number three. It may be hard to believe, but one of the best ways to make learning easier and more fun is to give yourself a break. What I mean by that is if your learning is becoming boring or if it's just getting too hard, 
it's time to give yourself a break. I like to plan for breaks in my learning. So I take at least one day a week where I can do whatever I want. I don't have a plan. I might actually practice my language, but I don't have to practice it for a certain time. I don't have to get a certain amount done. I plan to have a break. Even if you don't plan to have a break, when things are getting difficult or boring, it's time to mix it up. It's time to give yourself a break. When you do this, you're much more likely to enjoy what you're doing. And if you're enjoying what you're doing, you're more likely to learn. So definitely be sure to use tip number three and cut yourself a break. I hope you learned something useful in this video. If you wanna learn more English, YouTube has already picked out a video for you here, or you can give one of these a try. I'm looking forward to seeing you in another video. Thanks for giving us some of your valuable time and I'll see you there. Bye.